Hi everyone, this is Brenda Bennett from SugarFreeMom.com. I'm here today to talk about healthy peanut butter with you and how to become a food label expert when you know trying to find natural, all natural peanut butter. The last two weeks we've been um, discussing breads and pastas and I want to remind you of um, the, the rule that I follow is that sugar needs to be the fifth ingredient in anything that I purchase. Uh, whatever kind of sugar it is, honey, agave, um, high fructose corn syrup, whatever it is, has to be the fifth ingredient. So today I was at Walmart and yesterday I was at Whole Foods. And just to recap about the breads, I was looking for healthy pastas at Whole Foods yesterday. And honestly, I didn't come away with one um, that would follow the, the guidelines that I talked about in the first video about whole wheat pastas. I wasn't really too thrilled about that. Um, I did find a bread today though at Walmart that I was pleasantly surprised. I went through every single bread and I found one and it was their brand, the Great Value brand, sliced whole wheat bread. And basically whole wheat flour was the first ingredient, water, I believe it was wheat gluten um, and yeast. And I think the fifth ingredient was high fructose corn syrup, but it's the fifth ingredient and that follows the guidelines. So I was per pleasantly surprised to find at least one brand at Walmart that was good sliced bread. Um, the other thing, uh, so we wanted to talk about, I want to talk about peanut butters with you. And if you follow my blog, you know that my boys are allergic to, my youngest is allergic to all tree nuts, and my oldest is allergic to soy and peanuts. So when I talk about peanut butter, this is for me alone. Um, my husband is a Skippy and Jif lover, so unfortunately, <laughs> I haven't switched him over to natural peanut butter. But you know if you are a peanut butter connoisseur, the reason you love, I mean, those taste better, Skippy, I have it here because it's in my cupboard, unfortunately, is because sugar is the second ingredient. I mean, who wouldn't want this? Of course, it tastes great. And you go to a natural peanut butter and it tastes blah, right? I mean, Smucker's is the one I've been using for years. All natural, just peanuts. And I love it and it's good, but I wanted something different. I felt like a change. So when I was at um, Whole Foods yesterday, I looked around and there were quite a few brands um, and a lot of them have added things which were which were good. I found Earth Balance and you see I bought it. So it's natural almond butter and flaxseed, creamy. And the ingredients are no, roasted almonds, flaxseed, palm fruit oil, agave syrup and salt. Now normally I've talked about this before, I don't, I don't do agave because it's not as healthy as everyone one thinks it is and it is really refined, but because it was the fifth ingredient, I chose to buy it, and it's really good. I really enjoyed it. I like it a lot. Earth Balance would be a good brand I would purchase there. They also had some other brands called Go Nuts at Whole Foods and added things, which looked luscious. One had peanut butter and chocolate. One had peanut butter and honey. One had peanut butter and maple syrup. One had dried fruits in it and, and something else, but of course they all have some type of sugar in in there. So I thought, why not try to make my own flavoring? I, you know I love sweet leaf, and this is my English toffee, so I experimented today. Oh, it's all gone, ha, huh, because I ate it. I put a tablespoon of peanut butter in there. I added five drops of my sweet leaf toffee. Uh, delicious. Fabulous. I have chocolate stevia, put it in there, fabulous. I mean, if you're really looking to add something to the natural nut butter, make it yourself. Put your own dried fruit in there. Put your own honey in there. I mean, even the Skippy Natural that has the um, honey, it says natural and it's got honey. It also has sugar. I checked it out. It does. So if you're fine with that as the third or fourth ingredient and it doesn't bother you, then by all means. But for me, I can make it myself. I'll take the natural butter. I'll put honey in it or I'll put the sweetener in it and even for your children if you don't think they'll switch from the normal brands that you've been buying to a natural brand, well make it yourself. Add the honey, add the sweetly flavored. Really good, really good. So the other thing, I was hungry when I was at Whole Foods yesterday. So I never ever buy bars, protein bars, snack bars. They're processed, they're not good for you, but I was so hungry. So I did. I broke down and I bought one and it's called That's It. And basically, it's one apple, one pear, I mean they had others, and no added sugar. It said 100 calories, 3 grams of fiber. So I looked on the back of the ingredients and it really says apples, pears, 
Seriously, that's it. I was, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I was pleasantly surprised. I was really happy. It tasted good. Uh, it doesn't have any sugar in it except for the natural sugar, so I was thrilled, and um, I would highly recommend it. And one other thing I want to tell you about before I go is last week when I was at Trader Joe's, I picked up uh, a peanut butter as well because I wanted something to try. I wanted to try their brand, and I bought Valencia creamy salted peanut butter made with sea salt from Trader Joe's. So good, really blows away smuckers. I was really, really, really happy with it. I don't know if it's because of the Valencia peanuts or what, but delicious. Totally recommend this one. So I hope that helped, and I hope you enjoyed um, the last three videos that I've done. And um, the next time I have another video, I've got some ideas, but I'd love to hear your comments. I've, I think I could do something on yogurts. I could probably talk about even canned tomato sauce, uh, salad dressing. So I'd love to hear from you. And... Um, Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.